All right, you guys, page 12, and I've got a, an experience for you. I like how this is the wrap-up activity to our first lesson. We're going to be creating a story and then graphing that story. And while it sounds mathematical, this is where your creativity gets to inspire you. Take a look at what I wrote. Now, this is my example. Get your own. But after you see this, maybe, like, don't copy my story. Make up your own story. Come on, I'll be creative. And uh, let's compare, which is also part of this question. It's, it's number three. Compare your story to someone else's. Here's my story. I left my house at 7.40 and I walked to school. And I walked for five minutes before a dog chased me down a street away from school. So I'm running and I had to climb a tree to get away from the dog. And it waited for me for a couple of minutes before finally it wandered off. Now the whole adventure made me late, so I had to run the rest of the way to school. And I made it to first period on time at 7.55. Harrowing adventure, I know. Let's take a look at what this graph could look like. So I'm looking for, and I hope your story has as well, some information like some time, maybe some distance. It could be like blocks or, or miles, whatever you want to say. But I'm, I'm using miles because, I don't know, 15 minutes. In 15 minutes at walking pace, you could go like about a mile and a half. So that's going to be my max distance to school. By the way, booking it, right? Okay, so my mileage is going to go one, two, three, four. There's one mile. One, two, three, four. There's two miles. So that's half a mile and a mile and a half. It's good to have label. I didn't give myself enough distance to properly write a half, a one, a one and a half, and a two. Now, my time in minutes, you know, if I look at the origin as zero, zero, that would be like when I left my house at 740. So from 740 to 755 is 15 minutes. So I need my scale in minutes to go, you know, out to 15 roughly. Maybe a little past, right? There's a little bit of a topper up here. So I want to go maybe a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Two minutes. Two minutes sounds good. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, going by twos. I thought threes, but then that'd be a really compressed graph. And I want my line to go through the middle of the graph, like grid area, and not be smushed over to the left side of the graph. And ones didn't work. It wouldn't have been enough distance. So going by two minutes. I left my house, and I've walked to school, and I've walked for five minutes. So at two, four, right here, I'm going to put a little dotted line because I want this dotted line to separate my graph. I'm going to do something that changes my smooth, constant rate of change to the school. How far do I walk? I walk about like, a, like I could walk in five minutes. I could walk like a half mile, right? Just walking pace. You know, I got to think about my own real life experiences. Do you ever time yourself when you're on your walk? Do you get out the health tracker and see how far you've gone? Because start. It's right there. It's easy enough to follow. And it's good data for you to use in a science class, in a math class, in a history class, in a health class. For uh, five minutes walking a half mile at a nice constant pace. So this is my line and how I'm interpreting it. Maybe you need to modify yours because get your own story. Now the dog chases me down a street and it's chasing me away from the school. So for the next like minute, Maybe, uh, maybe three minutes, right? For the next three minutes, the dog is going to chase me away from school, which means it's going to chase me back. No. So then I get to the tree, and I wait in the tree for two minutes. The dog, he says a couple minutes, right? I mean, it could be arguing the point that a couple minutes means three, means four, means two, means one and a half. Let's say a couple here means two. So I'm waiting in the tree for a couple of minutes, and then the dog wanders away, and now I'm late to school, and I have to get there. And it's a mile and a half away. Is this doable? That'd be a five-minute mile. That'd be insane. It's not that much. Let's go... Uh, School is a mile away. I'm going to make it there by 15 minutes. So 12, 14, 15. Say school is here. There we have it. All right. So there it is. There's my adventure. My graph 
I'm at school, I left my house, I have the part where I meet the dog, I'm waiting in the tree. This line is actually steeper, but also not like unbelievable. Like if you're running a five minute mile, I hope you're in track because you have some athleticism. If you are running faster than a five minute mile, no, that's not possible. So you gotta think about the distance in your story as being relevant to you, the human that is in the story. And for me, I can run pretty fast when I need to. Okay, so there's my story. I'm gonna maybe pause here and let you write your own. And if you copy mine, shame on you. Write your own adventure, write your own story. And if you need more graph paper, of course, I have graph paper in my classroom. Now, it's going to go to the next one. I'm moving the camera around a lot. I'm just gonna zoom out. There we go. I wanna zoom out because question two, describe the meaning of the points or smooth curve represented by your graph. Now in my graph, it's all made up of smooth lines, but it's not a smooth curve itself. So I have a corner right here where I change direction at, what is this? Five minutes and a half a mile. So at five comma 0 0.5, that's how we write coordinates. We write the X coordinate first, which is the five, and then we write the y coordinate second, which is 0 0.5. At five comma 0 0.5, I meet the dog, and it chases me. Okay, by eight minutes, I'm a quarter mile, Back, so I ran back. I mean, we're going pretty fast right now. You know, three minutes, quarter mile. Here we go. So I meet the dog, and it chases me. Chases me. At eight comma zero point two five, I climb the tree to get away. At ten comma zero point two five, the dog gets bored and leaves. So that means I can climb down, right? And I can go back. So now I'm talking about this point, this point, and this point. And then finally, I run to school and I make it to school on time at 7.55. So from 10 to 15 minutes, by the way, I'm running to school and I travel three quarters of a mile. Now I know it's three quarters of a mile because from here at a height of 0.25 miles to here, that was the three quarters in distance. So there you have it, there's my story. I've analyzed a story in mathematics and then I've got uh, each of the important characteristics. Um, I might even wanna put in there from uh, five to eight, from five minutes to eight minutes, my curve, although it's a straight line, we can call it a curve, my curve is decreasing. Which should also make sense because if my curve is decreasing, I'm running away from school, not towards school, because every direction has been distance traveled towards school. Mm, I'm gonna need to pause right here. Distance traveled towards school. I adjusted that right now in my title, went back to it. I'm gonna leave number three blank because you need to compare your scenario to a sketch of your classmates. And you need to do this analysis of what's happening at a specific coordinate. What's happening at that specific coordinate? Are you increasing faster in one interval than another interval? That's a math word I need. Um, we have these things that are going to define the mathematics of the story. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. There's no video, for those of you that made it this far, thanks so much for being here. There's no video for the lesson one assignment. I will help you with it, but that is on you to do so that you are challenging yourself with the questions and the strategies that I've been sharing in the previous pages. Thank you for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. Our next video is gonna be in lesson two. See you there. Have a good one.